This Giro gets very tough very quickly and the mountains arrive on just stage three. This 212 km stage follows the coast south from Sorrento to Marina di Ascher. The first 120 km are, save for a few ripples, entirely flat. But then the peloton hits the first of two 600 m climbs. The second of these peaks 30 km from the finish, all of which are downhill. So if a break of riders who pose no GC threat get over it with more than a minute in hand, they have a fair chance of surviving to the finish. The main contenders may choose this stage to test each other's legs a little, but this isn't a day for taking chunks of time out of your rivals on the climbs. However, one man likely to be eyeing this stage keenly is the star as Vincenzo Nibali. He's a demon descender, and he may well launch an attack close to the summit of the final climb and use his skills to stay away, as he did on stage 14 of the 2010 Giro. With those 20 bonus seconds on offer to the stage winner, he only needs to win by a small gap to profit handsomely.